there was once a prince who wished to marry a real princess. So he went on a long journey to find one. But every princess he met did not seem like a real princess. I must find a real princess, he said to himself. I will only marry a real princess. As the prince journeyed home, he was very sad. He told the king and queen that he had met many princesses, but that he could not find a real princess. I have been searching the world for so long to find the princess of my dreams. I haven't liked any of the ones I've met so far. What if I never find the love of my life? This princess was really rude when we went out together. She was far too nosy and kept asking how rich I was. The Danish princess doesn't sing sweetly like a real princess should. This one wouldn't stop talking. She wore me out. A real princess would be a bit more reserved. This princess is from the distant kingdom of Three Nines. She doesn't care how she looks. This princess doesn't know any good stories or fables. Life would be really boring with her. Here's the princess from the kingdom next door. You should see her terrible table manners. This princess's yawn is so loud. It's like a foghorn. What's more, she doesn't even cover her mouth. That night, there was a frightening storm. The wind blew hard and the rain poured down. The lightning flashed and the thunder roared, but the prince heard nothing. He was fast asleep in his bed. Then, suddenly, above the sound of the raging storm, there was a loud knock at the palace door. Knock, knock, knock. Who could that be at this time of night? said the king. And in such terrible weather, added the queen. The king put on his slippers and went to open the door. He peeped out to see who it could be. The weather was terrible. There was a flash of lightning, and standing there on the doorstep, the king saw a poor, bedraggled girl. Her hair and clothes were dripping wet, and she was shivering from the cold. Who are you? the king asked. I am a real princess, answered the girl. One stormy night, a cold and frightened princess appeared at the palace door. Who is this beautiful girl who has arrived at our palace? Why has she walked there in such bad weather? She should try ringing the bell so that the servants will open the door. Please let me in. She needs to ring the melody on bells. No, it doesn't sound like that. Listen to how it really sounds. Doesn't sound like that. Listen to how it really sounds. Nobody should be out in such a terrible storm. Good evening, Your Majesty. Please may I spend the night in your palace? I'm soaked through. Why not? It's freezing and you're shivering all over. I'm sure you'll catch a cold. Thank heavens I happened to find the house of such kind and generous people. Do you see what's happening, children? Never wander off on your own, or you'll get lost, just as this young lady did. The king let the princess in, and the queen said that she could sleep that night in the spare bedroom. The princess was grateful 
and thanked the king and queen for their kindness. The queen then turned to the king and said, We must find out if she's a real princess or not. How? asked the king. Without saying a word, the queen went to the spare bedroom and took off all the bed covers. She then took a small, hard, green pea from the kitchen cupboard and placed it under the mattress. On top of this, she piled not one, not two, but twenty more mattresses and twenty quilts. The princess climbed up the side of the very high bed and lay down to sleep for the night. The girl with wet hair and a dirty dress didn't look anything like a princess, but she was invited to stay in the best guest room of all. The princess can sleep here tonight, but I'm going to put a pea under the mattresses. If she notices it, we'll know that she is a real princess. Now, where did I put that pea? Will you help me look for it? Try under the chair. No, it's not there. Perhaps our little kitten played around with it. Oh... I wish they'd leave me to get some sleep. What are you looking for, Your Majesty? I can't find it here either. I might have put it in the drawer. Check in there. Can you help me hide the pea? Tap on the pea and then the bedding. Done, everyone. We did it. Here comes the princess. It's time for me to go downstairs. What a lovely person this young lady is. If only the prince could choose someone like her to be his bride. My goodness, such a big bed for me. Children, help me to climb up, or I will have to use the ladder to get up there. Thank you, children. I have never slept on such an uncomfortable bed. It feels as if I'm lying on a mattress made from rocks. When morning came, they asked her if she had slept well. I did not have a wink of sleep all night, said the tired princess. There was something hard in the bed. And this morning I am bruised black and blue. The queen smiled and looked at the king. You see, only a real princess could be so sensitive. The king smiled and called for the prince. At last the prince had found his real princess. They were soon married and lived happily ever after. And the pea? It was placed in the museum for all to see. <laughs>